find in your bladder or is it a prostatic mass so as we see that the prostate gland is seen free of uh, any connection with that with the equogenesis in the in the urinary bladder is this these one these are the equogenesis within the urinary bladder see the posterior wall of the urinary bladder is clearly seen so it, it, this is in fact a clot formation, a clot in formation. Other differential, if we can rule out other possibilities of uh, renal causes, then these areas will be considered as uh, we are having a, differ a differential of transitional cell carcinoma. However, Have you cigarette any pin there? No, sir. I have Patient remains, has been no smoker, gives no history of smoking. Now, this is an echogenicity. That is, this is the posterior wall, and you see this posterior wall is intact. This posterior wall is intact, and uh, it, this echogenic cauliflower shaped area, hypocoperia, does not penetrate the wall, the wall is okay, intact. So this is in fact a clot formation. So let's now also see the, once again let's see the prostate gland. This is the prostate in transfer section, separate. is the prostate gland with normal outer surface and no relation with the muscle of wall. Let's see the kidneys. Bas, 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 bully any on that. Achcha lagta. Little? Now this is the left kidney of the patient and see that from where the blood is coming. Now this helps us in our diagnosis of clot in the urinary bladder and not ACC. You see that this the, uh, the kidney measures 10.7 centimeters in length and 5.4 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. This is the anterior posterior diameter. So the anterior posterior diameter is of significance and uh, more significance than the length of the kidney. So the normal should not exceed 5.4 5 centimeters. The patient's kidney is measuring 5.4 centimeters. So the kidney is enlarged in anterior posterior diameter. Moreover, you see that the calluses, grazial system is not seen. Calluses are filled with fluid and this is uh, the minimal to moderate degree of uh, calluses dilation. This is called minimal to moderate, moderate degree of uh, calaisial dilation, hydronephrosis. So, and this tiny cystic area that you are seeing, this cystic area, this is the medulla, this is the med uh, pyramids, this is the pyramid in the medulla, this is the pyramid in the medulla, this is the cortex. The cortex is normal in echogenicity, though uh, appears to be. Uh, slightly decreased in echogenicity, yes, the thickness, this is also a medulla and the corticomedullary differentiation is thus intact, the kidney is functioning therefore normally and note the degree of uh, dilation of the calluses and this is what we call minimal to moderate hydronephrosis. Now let's see the kidney from other angle to see if the proximal ureter is dilated or not. 